few videos ago, I talked about how to make things grow in Blender, followed by a video on how to break stuff in Blender, but this video is about something that I'm actually excited about. For the longest time, to light stuff in Blender, this is the usual route. You move the light, and you rotate the light, and you do a test render. And if it is not what you liked, you do the same thing again. You move the light, and you rotate the light, and you test render. You do this over and over again until you get the lighting you want. But the truth is, we already know where we want the lights to be. It's just really, really difficult to position the light so that the light is reflected off the exact angle that we want. Three Suramax users have this ability since the dawn of time. They have the Place Highlight tool that allows them to put their mouse on the surface of a mesh and the light will automatically align itself to the normal of the mesh. It's amazing, it allows you to place lights exactly where you want them to and it's something that I miss in Blender. Well, not anymore! There is this free add-on called Lumia, the link is in the description below. This add-on is so intuitive, it actually makes lighting fun. Let's check it out. After you have installed it, you will find it here. Click Create. Select the mesh you want the light to shine on. Select Normal and drag it around. You see it? You see how intuitive it is? Like, that's it. This is exactly what we want. This is all we ever want. To be able to just move your mouse on the surface of a mesh and tell the light exactly where the highlight should be, where the strongest part of the light should be. This is exactly what we want. That's it. This is it. You can change the color and set the range to adjust how close the light is to the target. Rotation if you feel like doing a few more adjustments. and pitch to move the lights up and down if you want to. To create a second light to light the same target, you have to temporarily select a different object. Click Create and click on your preferred target again. I set it to Accurate this time, but I don't really see a difference between setting this to Accurate and setting this to Normal. This is really intuitive. I play the rotation, pitch, and range a little. Create a third light. This is for if you want gradients in your light. This is what you usually use to set the color of your light. And this is texture light. Think light shining through colored glasses. And this is sweet, sweet IES lights. Yes. Look at me having such precise and intuitive control over the lighting on the eyes. It's just, oh man, I, I wouldn't want to do it any other way now. This intuitive way of lighting in Blender forever changed my workflow. I'm never going to go back to the old way of doing things again. This is it. This is the most intuitive, most fun way to light stuff in Blender. That's it. Thank you to the person that makes this add-on. Thank you so much. Please take a look and support my Patreon. This is Bracewood Jack and I will see you next week.